In this video I'll show you how you can connect your camera, your DSLR or mirrorless camera to the Elgato Camlink 4K and to UBS, OBS going to the computer. The Elgato Camlink 4K has a USB extension, a short extension and I really think you should use it. It helps me to not have the Elgato Camlink connected directly to the USB port. Then connect the HDMI cable, the full size HDMI and the other size of this HDMI cable it's micro HDMI because my camera has a micro HDMI port not full size if you have a mini HDMI cable like in the Nikon DSLRs uh, D810 or a full HDMI cable then you would use another cable this cable here I connected to the computer through the USB then the HDMI goes to the camera when I plug in the USB, you will see that there is a light on the cam link. When the cam link light stays on, it has a signal and it's working. If it turns off, it's because I didn't connect it yet. So yeah, let's try to connect it. This is the Lumix webcam software that I used before. It works okay, but the quality is a little bit less. And you will actually see in this video, I will make a quick comparison between the Lumix camera software beta and the Elgato video feed. It actually outputs 4K to the computer. So let's try. First thing, I was thinking to use the normal front panel connection just to show you the light better. And you see the light is stable there, but I didn't get the video feed through OBS. In the properties of the, yeah, with the echo even. You just have to disable and re-enable the video feed if you get this problem. In, in the OBS you have a video source and you can choose the direct uh, link. Come link 4K. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> That's 4K there, so the image on OBS on the HD screen is really large. Eventually, I use the full HD 60p from the Lumix S5. For a live stream, it's better to use a full HD anyway instead of 4K. And yeah, I can actually see the display on the camera. So this would be useful if I wanted to show you the actual display of the camera directly from it. I could do this now with the Elgato Camlink 4K but the thing is you would want to disable this when you use it for as a normal camera you would want to turn off all this display and it's an easy setting in the menu most of the cameras that have an HDMI out port will give you the option to disable these overlays menus and things hope this works for you also Hope, hope it works for you also and let me know in the comment section below if you have any issues with yours. This is not clean HDMI. I will make it clean HDMI right now. Information display on the screen, I see it. It's so distracting, I look all the time there. I should say what's this thing. And I hear delayed, it's really going, driving me crazy. Okay, so let's try the microphone. Hope, hope it works for you also. And let me know in the comment section below if you have any issues with yours. This is not clean HDMI. I will make it clean HDMI right now. was HLG before, now it's Rec 709, as it should be. It's outputting 4K 30p and seems okay. I'm not sure if it's some delays, maybe there are audio delays. Uh, probably didn't configure OBS perfectly. Drinking some coffee, oh, it's finished. 
so distracting. I look all the time there. So a bit of delay from there. See a bit. Like, and also I see the difference between when I speak and when I see. Like when I move, it's a bit the difference from movement is a bit more than what it used to be before. So this is the Lumix webcam software connected through USB, no problems, goes to the computer and the computer does everything on OBS. Let's switch to the cam link. This is the cam link. Connected with HDMI going to the camera. So Now, oh, I unplug the USB. Yeah, now, now the, now the the video is back on the camera. So started recording again. Now the video is back on the camera, but all I see is uh, Lumix webcam software logo. And if I enable the the cam link properties, it's uh, the frame is frozen. I just deactivate, activate, activate again, again, and, again, and, again, and, and we're back. back. Activate it again, and we're back, back here. Rx7 online, okay, okay, and. Yeah, yeah, the... It feels a bit, bit, little, little bit, bit faster, faster, I'm not sure. sure. Hard movement. It's, it's 30p, so, so it uh, shouldn't should be, be any too much, much difference. difference. Too, too much. much. Now it's only the sound from, from the camera. Only the sound from HDMI. And I hear delay, it's really going to drive me crazy. Okay, so let's try the microphone and disable the camera output. Test. I'm not sure where. Okay, I'm gonna switch from the audio from the microphone to it works. It works with a 200 millisecond delay. Switch to the camera. Should should be some keyboard shortcut. But here on the desktop, I could even put a um, video video capture device, and I can resize this. Put it in the corner. Something like this. So you see my desktop, camera, desktop. Oh, that's pretty nice. I can also disable this and switch back to the camera. I'm not sure if there is a shortcut for this to move, switch between scenes. 60 FPS, the quality is great, I mean, this camera supports 4K and uh, Elgato also supports 4K. Full HD. <laughs> so, should be fine. I just wish there was a way to switch between this. Uh... Okay. Let's see how this sounds like. Okay, this is a streaming test. Uh, 8 mega per second full HD 60p but I can't see anything ah uh, 8 mega per second full HD 60p took some time to show but I can't see anything uh, ah uh, 8 mega per second full HD 60p took some time to show 
So, so I can see anything. I can have my desktop here. Well, that's pretty nice. And hopefully it will show up on the streaming setup on YouTube. Mm. Or no. Ah. Now it should be playing. Start it again. Don't know what's happening there. Go back to it. Let's see. I refreshed it. Oh. I think we are good. It. Okay. Oh. I think we are good. Yeah. Okay. So, okay. Full screen. Oh, come on. The audio gets confusing if I play it from there. So, that's that's really It's pretty good actually. Yeah. And if I want to stop the stream, Start recording. The stream is ended, but we are still here. Yeah, okay, that's it's working. Pretty nice.